is going to hate what I'm about to say, but tough luck. Public service announcement, because y'all got it fucked up. Being a good woman is not about how much shit you can take or how long you can stay. If he's not doing what he's supposed to, cut him off and be great. You're not obligated to stay through everything. That's what he wants you to believe because it benefits him. They won't tell you that good women don't entertain no bullshit. Because half these niggas won't get entertained. No bullshit. Fuck being a down chick. That shit is played out if you ask me. He wants you to ride or die but got side bitches in the back seat. Part of being a good woman is knowing when to say fuck him. Being strong enough to walk away when you can't trust him. Not letting your loyalty keep you prisoner to some fuck shit. Or well, I'm gonna stay through whatever. No, sweetheart, that's a dumb bitch. What's up, y'all? This is 1028 Awakenings, and I'm back again with another motherfucking video. What's going on, y'all? I love you guys. What's good? Hey Scorpios, I am getting better y'all, you know, a bitch growing, I used to do like two videos a day, now I'm getting like 10 videos a day, like what's up, okay, more time, more hours in the day, not really, but I feel like with the moon cycle, sometimes you get that gusto and sometimes you just don't got it, you know, like my YouTube, my Instagram, they're like, bitch, you've been gone for months. Okay, snakes could be very significant. You could be seeing them on shows. You could be seeing them on Instagram, on T. Like, what the fuck is going on with this? You are going through a shedding process, Scorpio, or you have just completed one, okay? This in the upright says, the experience that you are presently going through are an intuition into fulfilling your purpose as a healer, okay? So some of you guys, there are people around you who basically say, you're not a healer. You're not a shaman. You're not successful. You're not, you're not, you're not publicly recognized. Don't nobody give a fuck what you got going on. You know, you had a lot of haters, bruh. Okay. But you drop these hoes like a whole cake. I ain't lying to you. We're rattletail here. You know what I'm saying? You seen this nigga venom and you was like, oh, hell nah. You was docking and dudging like, nah, nigga. I don't want none of that venom, nigga. Okay. So you let a lot of people go and it was necessary because these people was finna bite your ass. All right. And a lot of these people you thought was cool as fuck. Your intuition be like, nah, man, that person ain't never say no shit like that about me you a goddamn lie okay so scorpio a lot of people who were snakes in the grass have been revealed here but you remain vigilant i don't feel like a lot of you guys knew or showed this person that you knew this person would slightly say like did you know what i had to do for her did you know what i had to do for him you know what i'm saying and that gave them a lot of credit to do that but i feel like you cleaned your slate clean and you got the fuck away from them people because why is you going around telling people that shit okay so some people just wanted people to know like you're not always together but i don't really feel like you told nobody no shit like that you know what i'm saying so remain vigilant about the current situation pay attention to the signs and the omens and let them dictate your choices so scorpio i feel like you made some choices and i feel like people are slowly bringing their little venom ass back in and you like you know what life has been good since you've been gone you know what i'm saying but i'm good all right so i feel like you are holding your ground you feel very okay where were you at but i feel like there's a lot of energy that's trying to pull you in they could be pulling you in financially like paying for your services all of a sudden okay and you could be feeling like what's that about but i feel like this scorpio you at a higher level why are you even thinking about that they coming because they need to be fed and you got something to eat now with the elk here this is another fucking scorpio spiritual animal here okay this elk be coming up all the time where is this elk wow open the, the damn shit and it open to the deer but it's not right here it's it's over here though there you go okay so it says the elk is associated with the northwest so you could live on the northwest and the element of fire both the elk and its alternative identity the owl which is why you know in the other one you keep seeing the elk or you keep seeing the owl the owl roam free in the wild elks can do most things that put their minds to and are especially good at building or a kind of engaging work they are happy hold on if they work tasks from where a place be, hold on damn nigga can i read they are happy <laughs> if they work tasks then from places to place because they don't like to be tied down they are optimistic board minded and very lucky and they usually make friends quite easily elves can be si silly at times and are very positive 
on accident with others they tend to identify anyone's embarrassing trait and make them feel comfortable however they are great fun and wonderful hosts and they can also cheer anyone up that's around them that shit do sound like me though okay so look this book is five fucking dollars okay and i just want to tell you guys if you've been seeing snakes which is on the same fucking shit this animal and this animal scorpio i'm telling you this is all about this this is also dedicated to the scorpios that are born from october 21st 24th to november 21 and this sign is also about snakes as well and this is also a shaman okay most shamans are born during this era this is also a time for um you guys to know that this elk this owl and this snake is very very powerful and it's showing you guys like you are connected to these ancestors you do have this and what has happened is you've been stripped of this stuff and now it's just coming through your dna and as you eat more high vibrational food it changes your perspective and how you think whoo what a brain fart this is you know what i'm saying when you start reading this shit you like damn bitch you got a highlighter okay i never use highlighter or read it shit in school i i don't know how i pass them classes bro i just i mean i know but anyway all right so scorpio let's see what's going on with your love life okay so you got an older man over here trying to check on you this could be an older feminine energy too they feel like they have a past life with you this could be somebody who has egyptian tattoos or really like you know the mummy okay i don't know where that came from but somebody just liked the mummy this person could be older they could have gray hair i just want to prepare you for that but they do feel like y'all have a past life with a relationship with each other and they they just feel like they know you even though they don't know you all right they feel like they got a knowing i don't know this person also feels like you working all right you don't really give a fuck you're a professional you're not really focused on anything they got going on but they might not have nothing going on and they could be focused on you take it as it resonates this could be an older woman okay you could be a younger man like i hate when somebody be like well my nigga older bitch it's an age gap okay all right damn so somebody feel like this is true love it keeps going back to this older person this person really feel like you're pure and you're honest and they just really want to be with you you know they also feel like you're a professional somebody just is just staring at your ass god damn scorpio who the fuck is this this is somebody who um could be big okay um you also have somebody in the past that feel like they want to be with you but they broke your heart they stabbed you they ran it over with a car well goddamn um this person is shedding a lot of skin they're seeing things a lot differently okay damn there was a lot of gossip scorpio your neighbors been talking shit about you and they they starting to change their perspective on you with small talk these people are now trying to come up to you they talking to you they doing all these nice gestures but you had a feeling these people was talking shit about you and they were okay these neighbors were saying you were this and you were that and, and it's because they didn't understand you and when people don't understand you especially fucking humans humans will fucking kill an animal don't even know what it is it ain't do shit to them all because it's different like oh shit i don't know what that is why is that your natural reaction to kill what's up with that you might need to check yourself you know it's crazy all right so we have a brunette here this person here could be red or fucking orange all right this person is thinking about you at this time this person um oh shit okay so this person is thinking about how they want new love in their life and how they don't understand why they haven't had anything or and it's because this person had received a lot of karma this person and you don't talk no more y'all ain't even friends even if this is a nigga he dye his hair or sometimes or his tips or some shit like that okay there's something with dye and hair going on in this situation this person has not been able to have any new love in their life and they're wondering where their twin flame is they also feel like they're very close to you if you're a tarot card reader but they don't fuck with you no more so it's hard for them to communicate with you all right yeah and this person is always trying to control the situation when they should just be trying to yield like if you did something wrong to somebody you should just say you sorry what the fuck is the point of being wrong and strong that shit is just dumb and you just really depriving yourself because somebody can really help you and you're you're turning your back from the help because you know i don't know all right so whoever this old man is or this old woman this person did not really respect you or they didn't really respect themselves and i'm so glad scorpio you caught this shit okay you could have been teeter-tottering with this motherfucker but there has been much help from people that you receive be grateful to those that are dear to you this person was not they never really respected you and i feel like you did respect yourself this person is now realizing that they should have respected you okay it says make a commitment like i told you this person just wanted to fuck they didn't really want to make no commitment to you you know they want to be in and out uh sexually here and you just devote yourself to loving yourself you know and this person didn't have no respect for themselves but they're now realizing because through you you know what i mean you're not gonna like that you had self-control 
You kept your legs closed. Look at this bitch. Her legs is completely closed, motherfucker. It's time for you to break through now. It is time to stop playing so small. People on the outside may be judging your journey. They don't understand why you're so isolated and never want to hang out anymore. They can't see all the hard work you've been putting in just to make sure your future is exactly how you dreamed it to be. Your light is already shining bright. People already see so much potential in you. But it's time for you to see it. And it's time for others to see why you have been on this journey alone. You are so powerful. You no longer need to play small. Abundance is coming. Self-love is coming. You are gaining your confidence back. And nothing and nobody will be able to rob you of this energy ever again. I'm so excited for you to see who you truly are.